Hey y'all! Hey, Welcome, Welcome back, back to our channel! Today we're showing you guys how to make Kung Pao Chicken. This is a popular dish you can order at Panda Express or Chinese restaurants. But mm -hmm. the perks of making it at home, you know exactly what you're putting in. And I know we put in healthy and quality products. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn this recipe, please stay tuned throughout the video because you need to learn this special sauce to get this dish right. And also, if you love stir-fried dishes, this plate is for you. Mm -hmm. So... Taste test time! <laughs> oh yeah, this is your favorite part. Let's try our food. Okay. Dig right in. Okay, get the chicken. Okay, let me show everybody at home. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. We're gonna bloop that out. Make sure you put the beep. And okay. Cheers. 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 Cheers to everybody at home. Cheers to everyone. Mm. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I have to say, this is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let me take a second bite. If you love a healthy chicken dish, this would be it. Mm -hmm. And it just goes so well with rice. Wow. I mean, the chicken is, I would say tender, mm -hmm. um, flavorful. You can taste all the spice and mm -hmm. herbs together. Right. That just makes this dish so special. Mm -hmm. And it's not too spicy, it's manageable. Yeah, it has a kick to it. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 7. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Perfect mm -hmm. score. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm slow at reacting right now because I always prefer steak over chicken. Um, mm -hmm. But for me to eat chicken and say this is good, it's because it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't eat too much steak and you have to go for chicken, make this dish. Yes. Okay, y'all, don't leave yet. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the video to learn the special dish. And honey, mm -hmm. do your thing so that way we can get started. Okay. Kung Pao Chicken! <laughs> <laughs> to get started, you will need the following ingredients. Chicken breast, peanuts, Sichuan peppercorn, or Sichuan peppercorn powder, and dried red chili pepper, which is optional if you can't handle spice. Our vegetables of choice will consist of four cloves of garlic, a thumb of ginger, four stalks of green onion, and the following vegetables will be optional for this recipe. White onion, zucchini, red bell pepper, and green bell pepper to give our dish some color. Other ingredients will include black pepper, sugar, chicken bouillon, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, oyster sauce, cooking oil, chili paste, which is optional, cornstarch, and egg white. And as always, the ingredients and specific measurements will be listed in the box below, so be sure to check that out. We'll start by cutting our chicken and marinating it. So cut your chicken into strips and then dice them into equal cubes. You may use boneless chicken thighs for this recipe if you would like. It's really up to you. Now, once your chicken is all chopped up, transfer them to a medium-sized mixing bowl to be marinated. Our marinade will consist of 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, which will give your chicken a rich dark color. 1 tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, which is Chinese cooking wine, but you may use any cooking wine you may have in your pantry if you don't have Shaoxing wine. 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, which will give you that umami flavor. 1 tablespoon of cooking oil so the chicken doesn't stick together or to the bottom of the pan when cooking. 1 half tablespoon of cornstarch and 1 egg white. By adding cornstarch and egg to marinate the chicken, this method is called velveting chicken. Essentially, 
It's every Chinese restaurant's secret to tenderizing chicken breast, so it's unbelievably tender, silky, moist, and juicy. So, give this a good massage until the chicken feels creamy and velvety, and set this aside for 30 minutes to marinate. While we wait for our chicken to marinate, we'll go ahead and create our Kung Pao sauce. To a small bowl, we'll add one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, half teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, two tablespoons of water, and one half tablespoon of cornstarch to thicken the sauce. Give this a good stir and set it aside. Next, we'll prepare our vegetables for the stir fry. The first ingredient is green onion and we'll need four stalks of these. Go ahead and chop them into small half inch chunks, like so. And finally dice the last stalk to be used as garnish at the end. Next, garlic. Peel and smash four cloves of garlic and finally mince them with your knife. This will give your dish more fragrance and bring the flavor out when you cook them. Then ginger. You will need one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. I like to use a spoon to remove the skin prior to grating it. And if you have grated more than one tablespoon of ginger, that is perfectly fine too. You can't go wrong with too much ginger. Next, with your knife, cut your dry chilies into short pieces to release the flavors when we cook them. And just a side note, if you can't handle the spice, you may discard the seeds to reduce the level of spiciness. We like spicy, so we will leave them as they are. Moving on to our zucchini, we will dice them. First cut them into half lengthwise, then place it face down and cut each half into four strips or so or depending on how big your zucchini is. Then rotate and make evenly spaced cuts across the strips to dice them into small pieces. Now cut your white onion in half through the root and peel off the skin. Then slice vertically into thick slices and rotate to chop into nice chunks. You will need one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper. After you have sliced off the top and bottom, remove the core and slice the pepper lengthwise into strips and then rotate to dice. These will add a pop of color to your dish and make your photos and videos Instagram worthy. I promise. And lastly, dice your Sichuan peppercorn with your knife or grind them however you would like. This is a key spice in this dish. And if you're feeling a little lazy, you may buy Sichuan peppercorn powder, which will make life a lot easier. Also, you may crush some of your roasted peanuts to garnish the dish later. Now, let's get to cooking, y'all. First, Heat up a couple of tablespoons of cooking oil on a large pan on high heat. And add your marinated chicken and cook it until you get some nice browning or until the meat changes color. Cook them for about three to four minutes and remove them from the pan and transfer them to a clean bowl or plate and set them aside for later. Now, Add in a tablespoon of cooking oil and stir fry the Sichuan peppercorn on medium heat. This pepper creates a tingly and slight tongue numbing effect in the mouth. Of course, I had to give this a try myself. And indeed, it does give a tingly feeling to your mouth. <laughs> then, add in your ginger, garlic, chili paste, and dried red chili pepper for the aromatics as well as your diced zucchini and white onion. Once again, this amount of dry chili pepper will make the dish a little spicy. So if you can't handle spice, then you may omit the chili pepper and remove their seeds. You may leave out the chili paste as well. 
Now stir fry this until the aroma comes out. Then turn your heat to high and add your chicken back in. Give this a nice toss and introduce our Kung Pao sauce. Do give the sauce a quick stir before pouring it in because the cornstarch may have likely settled on the bottom of the bowl. Make sure to coat the chicken evenly. Continue to stir until everything is beautifully thickened. It's smelling so good, y'all. Lastly, finish off by adding in your peanuts, bell peppers, and green onions and toss it well for a minute or two to bring this dish together. The vegetables will be nice and crunchy. It's smelling so delicious right now, y'all. Then immediately turn off the heat and transfer this to a serving plate. Before serving, you may garnish with more crushed peanuts and thinly sliced green onions and alongside with some rice or noodle and bon appetit! And friends, there you have it. Kung Pao Chicken. Isn't it beautiful, y'all? Check out the lovely glossy glaze on each piece of chicken. You can see that everything is well coated in the sauce. Mmm. So friends, what do you think? This dish was not so hard to make, right? Oh, and friends, just heads up. The dried chilies is just for presentation and flavor, so don't eat them. And y'all, this is how you make Kung Pao chicken. If you like what you see today and you want to support us, please press the like and subscribe button and the bell button for a future notification. So just let us know what you think about this recipe in the comments down below. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Peace. <laughs>